Problem 15. In the diagram below, the diameter of each of the two smaller circles is a radius of the larger circle. So that means that they must touch at the center point right here. If the two smaller circles have a combined area of one square unit, then what is the area of the shaded region in square units? Follow along with the question and we should be able to solve the question, right? So let's just first write things out. What is the area of one of these smaller circles? Well, let's say that the radius of this is r. Then the area of a small circle of the, of the small circle will be equal to pi times r squared. Now we have two of them, so two of them will give two pi r squared. Now two pi r squared must equal one because that's the combined area. So what is r, r squared? r squared is one over two pi. So that means r must be the equal to the square root of one over two pi. Now we know that twice the radius gives the diameter, so times two, right? This becomes two times square root of one over two pi, and that is equal to the diameter. Now, what is the area of the shaded region? Well, the area of the shaded region, right, is equal to the area of the large circle, right, minus two times the area of the small circle. But then we already know what this quantity is, right? This quantity is two pi r squared. But then since r, right, is equal to, uh, since r is equal to the square root of one over two pi, right, then if we plug this into here, we get two pi times one over two pi, which gives one. So that's one right here. But then what is area of the large circle? Well, the area of the large circle is equal to two, um, is equal to pi r squared as well. But in relation to the radius of the smaller circle, that is two, um, that is supposed to be pi times two r squared, right? Because remember, two r gives a diameter. Uh, or no, 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 two r gives the radius of, 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 of this segment, right? Two times r gives you this length. And that length is the radius, so that that's why we have um, we have two r here and we square it. So then let's solve for that. Well, we know that two r is equal to two times that. So what is pi times this quantity squared? Well, that's pi times four times one over two pi, right? The pi and pi gets canceled, and the two and four are canceled out into two. So that means the area of the large circle is equal to two. Therefore, two minus one gives one. Therefore, your final answer is answer choice D.